In this lecture, we will learn about routing events. There are two important types of routing events, choice router and scatter gather. Before talking about choice router, let's talk about content based routing. Content based routing is used to examine messages and route them to the correct channel or destination depending on a message content. We use content based routing when we want to route message to the right destination. In Mule, the choice flow control is used to achieve content based routing where routing will be done based on the message content like inbound properties, flow variables and payload. Uh, the choice router routes messages through a flow based in evaluating an uh, expression. If the first expression that evaluates is true, then it triggers routes execution and others are not checked. And if no route matches, then the default route is used. In a choice router, we use uh, expressions to specify the path to the message. For simplicity of this tutorial, we will implement a very basic scenario where we will expose one HTTP GET service on a specific port and we will expect a name as a query parameter and using choice flow for content based routing we will determine if that user with the given name is authorized or not. For example if in input we are getting name as Kalyani and if condition in the first router is mentioned as Kalyani then in set payload, if we are saying that Kalyani is authorized user, we will send the, uh, we will log the message as Kalyani is authorized. If another name is coming and if that person is not authorized, then it will go in the default flow because their first and second conditions are not matching. In that case, in the set payload, we would be adding content as uh, whatever is the incoming name uh, that uh, welcome this uh, welcome user but you are not authorized to access. Uh, we will also use logger component to log payload as well as request parameters. The choice router is similar to if, else if and else block. Let's see the demo. Let's get started with the demo. First, we will pull in choice router. We need one HTTP listener. and uh, we will be logging input as well as output uh, output payload uh, inside this uh, conditions uh, let's set payload okay so for http listener I am using existing connection uh, where port is 88. In the path, I am going to add is authorized. In the logger, I will be adding attributes dot query param dot name we will send this name from the input when we send http request then uh, in the choice router let me copy this in the choice router uh, we will be then checking if this name let me go to expression mode if this name equals to kalyani And then in, um, in the logger, we will be mentioning 
payload and we will be setting this payload in set payload so here I will mention welcome the name which would be Kalani I'm giving here space and mentioning you are an authorized user and if other than Kalani if we send any name then I want to mention you're not an authorized user In the listener section in advanced tab if uh, if needed you can add allowed methods as only get now let me execute my uh, let me deploy the project project is deployed now let's test it now because I have selected method as get now I am selecting here get and uh, we had added in path is authorized so next to 8088 I am adding this and now I am adding name let's say start let's start with Kalyani now I'm getting the message welcome Kalyani you are an authorized user next if I want to add some other name I can test it with adding some other name for Mangesh it is giving me error uh, wel uh, welcome Mangesh you are not an authorized user and if I want to add any other name here, I can try it out. Welcome Tom, you are not an authorized user. So, uh, and here you will see all the logging done. Uh, here in first logger, it is uh, showing us what was the name entered. And in this logger, it is telling us the uh, message that we printed and we set in this payload. Uh, so this is the basic use case for choice router where uh, you can decide which route you want to follow uh, for processing. You can uh, to give some uh, examples of case study. It might happen that uh, you are managing inventory and if uh, some new item is getting added in, in, in inventory, you can route it to add inventory and add all the details or if some inventory is uh, over and not available uh, for sale, then you can uh, send message uh, show message or you can delete that inventory and uh, in your database so that is one key study there are many other uh, scenarios for choice to add on in the requirement uh, what i did is i again uh, dragged this set payload and uh, put it here here i added welcome again uh, and you are an authorized user and in the condition I have put a uh, name as again Kalyani so here our first condition also ha is having name Kalyani and second condition is also having name as Kalyani now what happens is uh, here I'll have to make it expression yeah so now uh, let me deploy this application what happens is choice router adds conditional processing to a flow similar to if else if else code block in most programming language for example let's see this is if this is else if and this is your uh, else part if nothing satisfies then only default will be executed and if your first if condition executes then it will not go to the second one now again uh, in this uh, this expression when we add this expression must always uh, return true or false nothing else expression is mandatory if you don't add expression you you cannot deploy your code because this is a mandatory thing and uh, as i mentioned if first condition is satisfied it will not go to second uh, loop because it is this part is considered as if and this is considered as else if uh, in this case first and second both conditions are met if i enter name as kalani now let me deploy my application and then we will again see 
how uh, how it works my application is deployed now let's test it now here again if i add tom it gives me welcome tom you are not authorized user and if i add kalyani it is giving me message welcome kalyani you are an authorized user this we had added in the first set payload welcome but in second payload we had added welcome again so it means if my first condition is satisfied it is not going to the second condition uh, that's all for now in a choice router uh, see you in next lecture thank you happy learning if you're lucky in exam you can get as easy question as what condition needs to be added if you want your transaction to go through non default flow reference so here in this case if we want it to go through non flow reference domestic shipping then we need country equal to us and the syntax for this choice router is this hash and in square brackets you need to put payload equal to equal to us in case instead of double equal to you see equal to here what will happen it looks like it is assignment operator but no in condition you must have equal to equal to uh, symbol here so if you just add one equal to it will give you data weave syntax error so what is important from exam point of view for choice router first and foremost important thing is only one of the routes in the choice router executes meaning that the first expression that evaluates to true triggers that route's execution and how is the condition evaluated uh, it is hash square bracket payload equal to equal to and uh, string or whatever if you give only one uh, equal to sign it will throw syntax error this should cover you fairly for choice router